Hey everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. I've got today more of an exercise uh, rather than a tutorial. And in Cinema 4D, uh, what we're going to be doing is modifying our rotational axis point. And I think for this example, we're going to put together a door on a hinge. So we're going to bring up Cinema 4D. Uh, this is Cinema 4D R13. Uh, so you should be able to follow along in almost any version. So we're going to start by creating a cube. And we're going to stretch this out just to resemble a wall. Nothing fancy going on. And so we've got us a wall with a certain amount of thickness. And we're going to put a door. We're going to insert a door in here with another cube. And we're going to give it the approximate shape of a door. Make sure that we're a little thicker than the wall. And we're going to raise this guy up so that it's sitting on what would be the floor plane something about like that. We're going to duplicate this uh, object that we have that we're going to use for our door. Control C and V, copy and paste. I'm going to move it over here and just keep it uh, in the same uh, alignment but uh, off to the side so we can use it later. So we're going to create a bool and with that we're going to use our wall. We'll call this wall and we're going to drop that in the bool. We're going to keep that object, so we're going to put it in the bool first. And we're going to take our door, and we're going to name that door. And we're going to drop that beneath the wall in the bool object. So we've got us a hole for our door, a threshold cut out in the wall. We're going to tell it to create a single object and hide new edges. At this point, we're going to press C on our keyboard to make that editable. And we've got our wall and our door combination here so we can delete our bool. We're going to select our door. And we're going to move this into place by sliding it right back into place. And we're going to make this approximately the thickness of the door would be in a threshold. We're going to thin that down a touch. I'm going to jump into my top view. And if I zoom in on this guy, we can see that we're I'm going to move this guy out to where it would be on the outside of the, the structure. And if you look at it from over here, you'll see that we've got our wall and our door. Okay, we need to make the door a little bit smaller than the threshold, obviously. And so we're going to size that down. We're going to size it down in its height. And we're going to bring that up a little bit. If you need to get a better view, change your views. We're looking at it from the front here our floor plane, our top of our door threshold. I'm going to move that up a little bit. But the door obviously is not rubbing the ground when it swings. Okay, so we've got our door, we've got our wall. Now what we're going to do, this is the exercise I'm speaking of, is we're going to move this rotational axis. If I were to move this door, let's rename that. Okay, if I were to rotate this door, you'll see that it rotates in the center. Now this might be good for a secret door, you know, in one of those uh, who done it type movies where they they got the mysterious door that swings around and um, you know the hidden door scenario but what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that it uh, pivots in an area where hinges might be connected to the wall so let's go and what we're going to do is select our axis modification tool right but before we can do that we need to make this door editable so you can right click it and choose make editable or you can press c on your keyboard and make it editable now, once we've got our axis modification tool uh, depressed and then active, active, what we can do is we can tell it to move our point of rotation so that it's on the edge of the door. I'm going to get a view at the top, and I'm going to move it to where uh, I want it to be in this rotation. So I'm going to move it over. You see, we can have it on the back side or the front side of this door. I'm going to put it on the front side. And I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make sure it's right on the corner of the door, just like you see here. Maybe just a touch outside. That way we get a, a nice kick off when it swings to open. All right, so here we are. You see that it's going to open from this side on the front. So I'm going to disable my axis modification tool. And now if you see that we rotate it, you'll see that this door rotates as it should, positioned with its uh, vertical uh, rotational axis on the front of that door. So 
we'll take a look at it from a, a different perspective. You can see the, how that door opens. Now you can keyframe this also. You could have, for example, uh, a camera. Let's let's do that. We'll put a camera in here, and we'll hop into the camera's view. And we'll rotate down on the ground. All right, something about this nature. Let's up ourselves up to about 400 frames on our timeline. And we're in our camera. We're going to set our first keyframe. And we're going to move forward, let's see, 160 frames. And we're going to move our camera in. And at about this point, we're going to do a little curve, move ourselves in line with our door. And we'll put a keyframe here. And then we'll move through to, let's say, frame 260. And we're going to pass right on through that door. Of course, we're going to open that door. And we'll put another keyframe here. So if I were to rewind, okay, we need to uh, adjust our door and keyframe it so that at about, well, let's see, about frame 140, it begins to open. So if we select our door, insert a keyframe at the beginning, and move up to about frame 140. Let's say we'll move to frame 120, insert another keyframe, and then have our door open over a period of a few keyframes to about 150. So I'm going to rotate that door, insert a keyframe, and the camera's going to pass on through. And at this point, if I hit rewind and play our animation from the point of view of the camera, you'll see that our door will open as the camera approaches it. So the camera's moving. Our door will begin to open, and the camera now can pass right through the threshold. So, again, this was much more of an exercise uh, just to get yourself familiar with the uh, axis modification and some keyframing. Nothing spectacular happening here. But then again, repetition uh, does facilitate and uh, making things more second nature uh, in your day-to-day uh, -day tasks. So, hope this helps. If you like it, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'll look forward to talking with you again in the future. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.